Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the filters in Odoo 17. So not only in Odoo 17, other previous versions of Odoo also, you can find these filters. Almost every screen in Odoo, you have these filters. So filters are basically for, you know, filtering uh, based on your what you need okay so if you want uh, if you're searching for a particular quotation for a particular customer or a salesperson or whatever it is you can filter it easily by using the filters option in Odoo so other than the normal filters which is the by default filters you have this advanced filter option in Odoo as well so I'm not wasting your time let's move on to the video and see how to you know manage the filters in Odoo 17 so now let's talk about the filters which we can find inside each and every module of Odoo 17 so first of all, let's open the sales module and I'll show the filters over there. So here's the sales module and in the sales module, once you open it itself, you will see the quotations and there'll be a default filter, okay, which is my quotations. So by default, is it, it's filtered as my quotations, which will only, uh, you know, show you the quotations which are created by you. You means the person who is logged in inside the module, okay. So this is the area where you can see the quotation. So I'm just removing that filter, which enables you to uh, see the or view the quotations which are created by other salespersons also. Okay, so that's the filter. Now, if you just click here, here you have the search icon. I'm not going then and here you have a icon, which will take you to the option called filters. So you basically have filters such as my quotations, quotations, sale order, create date, recurring, non-recurring and also you have the option to add a custom filter. Okay. So here you have the filter which is called my quotation. So that was the default one. Okay. So I'm clicking on my quotations. So this will only show you the quotations which are created by Michelle. Let me, if you scroll down, you can ensure whether it's showing only uh, your quotations. So that's my quotation and I'll show you putting some other filter. You have the other filter which is quotations now right now you have these quotations which are in the status like sale order as well as quotation so if you only want to see the ones which are in the status quotations you can simply click on that and here you can see the result it will show only the ones which are in quotation state or quotation sent state okay no no confirmed quotations can be filtered here using that option now if you only want to see the confirmed quotations that is the sale orders Click on the sale orders over here and this will be filtered based on sale orders. Okay, so I'm just removing it. And here you have this, we'll come to this uh, create date, let it be there. Now you have this recurring, that is the ones which are recurring. If there is any sale order which is recurring, which is which means it's a repeating. Okay, you know, in, a, in any particular uh, intervals, if it's a recurring one means you can see the recurring ones. And also you have the option to see the non-recurring ones, the ones which are not recurring. So these much you have which are not recurring. Okay, so that's how you use the filter. And here you have the create date. Now you can choose a date and based on the date, the data will be filtered. So if I'm choosing January and the year I'm giving it as 2024 itself and searching means only the quotations which are created on this particular condition that is the given date the ones which are created only on january 2024 will be shown over here so likewise you can put whatever date it is you can you know filter it based on the create date simply choose the year and month from here so that's the create date and here finally you have the option to add custom filter which can also be called as advanced filters okay so if you want to add any custom filters towards this you have such an option and this wizard pops up and here it asks match any of the following rules. So if you are adding, a, now currently there is a rule like salesperson is or in, then you can choose the option from here. So if I'm adding a new rule, which would be like salesperson is equal to, which is Michelle admit. So this will enable you to see the, you know, quotations where the salesperson is Michelle admit. Now, if you don't want to see the, you know, filters, I mean, the quotation created by the salesperson, then you can use not equal to. So similarly, based on your needs, you have conditions over here. And from here, you can set a rule. And that rule can be used as a custom filter. Now, you can simply add it. See, here the condition is added. Okay. So that's how you get the data. See, here you have the custom filter. Now, salesperson is in Michelle Edmund. 
add. So you can see the ones which is created that is the salesperson wherever there is Michelle admin that data is shown here. So similarly you have the option to add custom filters towards your you know interface and there's one more thing that is at a time you can use multiple filters. So if I'm adding quotations it will only show quotations. Now if you want to see the recurring quotations means you can add recurring ones. Okay, now if I'm removing this quotation and I'm adding another filter, let it be sale order. So this will be showing recurring sale orders. Okay, now if you want to see the recurring, say, uh, recurring, you know, quotations which are created on January 2024, then that will also be shown here. Okay, so if you want to see the ones which are recurring, which is created on January 2024 and which are also sale orders, that is also possible over here. So at the same time, that is simultaneously, you can create you know, more than one, uh, I mean, you can use more than one filters and also you have the option to create a default or, you know, custom filter. So this is basically how you use filters or over Odoo. You have the same thing uh, almost in every, every interface where you see here in Odoo 17. So yeah, that's how you deal with the filters. So that was all about the filters and that's how you manage the filters. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.